Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ash Stu. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for encouragement is, God said, who do you have in your heart now? If it's not me, remove it now. You know, I want to be honest with some of y'all. You know, we have so many people in our heart. Yes, we love our mother, our father, our sister, our brother. And you love your, you listen to me, you love your boyfriend, your girlfriend. But listen to me, you have to understand, whoever have your attention too much, it says, God says, I am a jealous God. You got to remove that stuff from out of your, out of your heart. Listen to me, some of y'all have, oh, I'm going to kill this person, I'm going to hurt this person, I don't like them, I'm going to do this to them. Listen to me, you got to be careful what you have in your heart. And you call yourself a Christian. You need to rebuke that stuff. You need to cry that stuff out and say, Lord, I repent. Listen to me. I'm talking to you. You need to say, Lord, I repent. Whatever's in my heart, you take it out. Listen to me. Even David said it. David said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew the right spirit within me. Listen to me. You think that what's in you is right, and it's not. David said to God, Create in me, Lord, a clean heart. Listen to me. You need to go back to your first love, which is Jesus. Jesus, I need you. I need you to help me. Because I feel like I'm getting ready to do something crazy. I got this person in my heart. I can't get them out. Listen to me. Some of y'all going through some heartbreaks. Some of y'all, listen to me, going through divorce, separation. Hello. You going through all these things going on. I know what I'm talking about. You going through separation, divorce, you know. Oh, I'm going to take the kids. I'm going to get full custody of the kids and all this stuff. All this stuff going on with baby mama, baby daddy drama. Let me tell you this. You better make sure your heart is right. You got to make sure your heart is right. The Bible says in Psalms 119 and 15, it reads, I will study your commands and reflect on your ways. I want to I wanna do things in God's way. I don't want to do things in the world way. Because if I do things in the world way, guess what? The world got me. The world got me. So it's important that we pray, that we fast, that we meditate. And the Bible tells us things come by prayer and fasting. Whatever you going through in your heart, I'm telling you, God can remove everything that you're feeling. You feel like beating up that person. You may feel like killing somebody. You may feel like just stabbing people. Whatever your case may be. I promise you, if you lift your hands up and say, Lord, remove all of this illness. Remove all of this pain. Remove all of this confusion. Remove all of this anxiety. Remove all of this depression. Remove all these suicide thoughts. And God will save your life. I'm telling you, you have to come back to God. And you have to be real with yourself. It's time for you to be real. It's time for you to come out and be clean because God needs you to be who he called you to be. Some of you, listen to me, you're calling on the rocks, you're calling on the elephants, you're calling on the dogs, you're calling, listen, y'all giving too many people your attention when you need to be serving God. The, the elephants can't help you. You understand what I'm saying? The, the dogs can't do nothing for you. Listen to me, you need to serve God and put everything in the hands of God and say, Lord, you work on me and God will help you, okay? So keep praying, keep fasting, keep serving God, keep doing what you need to do. And whatever's in your heart, you ask God to remove it and say, Lord, you, you, put, you put your love in my heart. You help me to turn away and live for you and God will do it. Listen to me, I want you to understand, it's never too late. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's never too late for you to get yourself together with God. I know some of you may say, I can't, I can't get myself together with God. Listen to me. You can get yourself right with God. You have to make up your mind, repent, and turn away from your ways. Ask God to work on you, and he will save you, okay? So I love you. Have a great, beautiful day. Keep your hair. Be strong. And listen to me. It's never too late. This is the right time for you to come back to God. If some of you have fallen short, listen to me. You get back up, you repent, and you say, Lord, make me over, make me new. Make me praise you and worship you all the days of my life. And God will do it. You got to be consistent, y'all. Y'all got to be consistent. Pray more, fast. You know, do whatever you need to do. Read your Bible and, and, and allow God to work on you, okay? 
So I love you. Have a great, beautiful day. Don't give up. Pray about all things. God bless you. Thank you for watching.